Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be going over what your debulking weapon says about you, as you could probably tell by the thumbnail and title. This video is inspired by my previous videos, which were inspired by Recontour and Burbingish. So, if you guys remember those, because I remember those like blew up back in the day. So, if you guys remember those videos, you'll probably like this video. And if you do, please make sure to smash that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 3,000 subscribers by March 30th, which is actually my birthday. So if you guys could help me reach that goal, that would be awesome. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get it started. Alright guys, we gotta obviously start it off with the weapon that's taken over the debulking meta, and that is the Purple Cloud. This weapon is a boss shot from the Visuals Maestro, and it's probably one of the most busted weapons in the game right now. And it's a medium weapon with Fist M1s and an instant TP high posture guard break crit. A lot of people are kind of 50-50 on the crit because on one hand, it's a really cool crit, and I like the fact that they're doing something unique with the game. Like... I feel like other crits are kind of very plain and basic, right? So having a cooler crit is something I can appreciate. But on the other hand, it is so overpowered and impossibly difficult to parry. Or at least for me anyways. Like, the thing is though, I feel like when I'm dealing with this crit, I can usually just roll out of it and I don't really have much trouble. But whenever I do try and parry it, it's either an instant guard break or my posture goes to like 90. When the weapon first dropped, it was honestly probably the most overpowered thing Debulkin has ever gotten, damn near close to a developer spec, but after a while, the weapon did kind of get nerfed. I'm pretty sure when the weapon dropped, I was actually kind of like taking a break from the game, so I never got to deal with it. I had to deal with the nerf version though, and that is still really really good. This weapon sometimes feels like it's a fist weapon that does like half a bar per M1, because the thing about medium weapons like SK and uh, what's it called? Uh, purple cloud is they do a ton of damage they have a high requirement so it obviously makes sense that they're going to be doing more damage but it's an unholy amount of more damage like i feel like these guys do damage similar to heavy weapons like nemesis kier's clave or even the stone dark steel greatsword guy that i fought in my previous video like these guys do an outrageous amount of damage the person i'm fighting here loki i don't think he has a very good build so his damage isn't as good but if you're fighting somebody with a mid max purple cloud build there is a high chance they're going to be like fucking two shotting a bar off you so be careful when you fight these guys because their m1s are unreadable like just create a level unreadable and they're going to be doing an unholy amount of damage to you as well let's move on to the personality of purple cloud users i feel like 90 percent of purple cloud users whether they want to or not end up looking like edgelords the person i'm fighting here i'm pretty sure voluntarily does it he got the emo haircut on the one wing with star kindred and obviously the purple cloud i mean the crit is probably one of the edgiest things ever to be honest you like unsheath your katana and teleport to them not to say it isn't a cool crit though it's like probably one of my favorite crits in the game but that's enough about purple cloud let's move on to the next weapon Solar Ice Fist build has been around since verse 1, or not verse 1, verse 2, when the Solar Enchant first dropped. This build was one of the very first solar builds created, and it was honestly the thing that put solar on the map and made solar the meta enchant that it is today. A big part of this build is the monsters that 99% of these guys run. Originally, the main monsters of this build are Ice Mass, Ice Eruption, and Ice Daggers, with Ice Lands being a rotational mantra. I noticed the Rising Ice monsters also become a staple just because it's a meta ice monster, so most of these guys are obviously going to be running it. A thing to note about these guys, which I feel like I noticed with most Fist users, is that they're exceptionally good at parrying because 99% of the time, if you're on Fist, everybody's going to be zoning you, so you got to be really good at parrying. That's not to say Fist takes skill or this build isn't like no skill to be honest it's just to say that you do need some level of fundamentals to be able to use this build effectively the biggest core of this build the bread and butter is the ice smash into ice eruption into ice daggers combo it can also be started with frost grab into ice smash but it's probably one of the most common combos in the game especially with ice. the biggest downside of this build in my opinion is that people are going to be zoning you quite a bit like as you guys can see with me in this clip and that is because your biggest like, like I said, like your best combo starter is going to be your M1s and Ice Smash, and those are close range. So if you just avoid that, you're going to be having a pretty easy time with this. However, a way to punish that is Radiant Kick, as you guys can see here. It's one of the best roll catchers and genuinely ranged mantras in the entire game. And 90% of these guys are either going to be running Contractor or Don Walker, which are two pretty basic oaths for this build. Without that though, I don't really have much else to say on this build. It's pretty good, and if you run this build, you're probably a decent deep broken player because you need to have good pairing, like I said before. Let's move on to the next stereotype. 
The Ignition Deep Delver is the Iron Sing legendary weapon, and with the recent emergence of Iron Sing mage builds, this weapon has seen a rise. Originally, Iron Sing was used as a popular sub attunement because of the resistance talents that it gives, and the Iron Sing cheese mantras such as Caltrops and Needle Barrage. Most people would end up Shrining of Order at 100 attunement because of its viability as a mage build with low investment mantras that don't really need to be leveled up and still giving value. But, due to the recent emergence of good Iron Sing mantras, the Iron Sing mage builds have become quite popular and people have started investing into Iron Sing highly. And because Iron Sing doesn't really have a hero blade, the Deep Crusher is a good substitute because the crit is massive, it's a big AoE that's difficult to parry and avoid, and it does a good amount of damage. So it's honestly the perfect weapon for mage build users. Though honestly, I feel like looking at this weapon, it doesn't seem like something that a mage build would use. Like I'm honestly used to seeing mage builds with like ice hero blades. So seeing them with a big hammer is kind of uh, like, how do I say? Like not really something I would expect. But if you guys do see one of these guys, prepare to get spammed because that's all they pretty much do. Like as you guys can see, there's a ton of Caltrops. He's spamming the crit, immediate needle barrage, and he's rarely parry training me. And that's only really to get ether so that he can spam his M1s even more. Usually though, I feel like a big staple with uh, the Deep Crusher, or maybe it's just one build that I saw, is running Iron Sing Jailer and then getting blinds here so they can do even more damage. That's one of the biggest, uh, what's it called? like oats that is used with this but this guy's running Dawnwalker walker in the clip but let's move on to the final stereotype of the video guys right, we're on to the final stereotype of the video and we're on to just Krita. a big thing these guys have started to do is either run tears of eden kite or nemesis as their enchants because the just Krita crit is kind of mid the just Krita m1s are probably the hardest thing to parry in the entire game and 99 percent of the time you guys are going to be seeing them either running frost draw Flame or Silent Heart because those are the three things that best complement Just Krita. But if I'm being completely honest with you, Just Krita is one of those things where you can run pretty much whatever you want and it'll still be good. This is probably the best weapon type in the game in my opinion. Or Just Krita or like maybe Purple Cloud too because Purple Cloud is also overpowered and it has a good crit to top it off. But that does not mean Just Krita is bad by any means. It has the hardest to read M1s in the entire game, like the best M1s ever. Just Kurita's biggest strength though I would say is the fact that even though it has a fist weapon or like kick weapon kind of right it just does a crazy amount of damage like if you're running just Kurita 99% of the time you're gonna see them rocking something like Heretic Sutra in order to get all the insanity damage buffs and an attunement like Flame Charm to combo you to one tap or Silent Heart where they're gonna have every single M1 damage buff and they're gonna do like a bar per M1 even though it's a fist whip and it shouldn't be doing that much damage in the first place like I don't know why it does so much damage but yeah just Kurita if you're fighting a just Kurita user honestly back in the day if you saw them they're gonna be either really good or really atrocious and they're just trying it because they want to have fun nowadays it's the same thing they're going to be either really really good at the game or they're going to be horrible except they're using it in order to compensate for a skill issue because i swear to god just screw to take zero skill and even if you're like the best people can play and the best parry in the entire game you're not going to be able to perfectly parry a just create a user who's good at hiding their m1s like fake m1 with just create where you like miss the m1 and then hit them again the hit is so fast that you can't react to it like if you play like a mage build against the just Krita and run away and spam i don't even blame me like with fist you have a slight chance where you can you know like parry trade with them and have a decent chance of winning with just Krita, that is a zero i would never in a million years parry trade a just Krita usually if i'm being honest with you guys that's all i really have to say though because this video is about to get too long so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe uh join my discord server and goodbye have a great day